going to get into today? Well, today is Moonshine Wednesday. You gotta love Moonshine Wednesday, don't you? Uh, I got something very special I wanted to make today. Oh, wait a minute. But first, well, welcome to Stewart's and Brewing. My name is Randy, and this is the channel that's all about home distillation and brewing. Alright, so what we are going to make today is a spicy toasted pecan bourbon. Uh, a good friend of the channel, Mike W, gave me this recipe. He said it was good, so I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, so we're, we're going to make this for Moonshine Wednesday. And it's so easy to do. Don't I always say that? Uh, but a little bit of heat, pecans, bourbon, what could go wrong? Alright, so the very first step in what we need to do is I'm going to take a half gallon mason jar. All right, and this pack here is two cups. So I need two cups of pecans. If I could open it up. Yeah, there you go. So I'm going to put them in the... in there. Okay. So the next step is, I just have some water here, is we want to soak these pecans for how long? For 30 minutes, okay? So let's soak in pecans for 30 minutes. And then we'll move on to the next step, okay? So, we'll let them soak for 30 minutes. All right, and then I'll be back. These will be so good. Okay, so after, uh, 30 minutes, I drained them. We're going to spread the uh, pecans out on this cookie sheet to a single layer. Like oh, we did, we did, we soaked the pecans for a half hour, 30 minutes. Now we're going to spread them out best you can. All right, now we're going to put the spices on. All right, so. I, I, like I always do, I'll put the uh, ingredients and the stuff down in the description box. But, it's not too bad. It's a quarter, uh, quarter teaspoon of salt. No, it's not too awful. Too much. Just sprinkle all over it. Alright. Quarter teaspoon of salt. Now the next is, and this depends how spicy you want it, but it's a, you, use your discretion, between a quarter and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And I went in between them two marks. So I like a little bit of spiciness. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of that on there. for the real heat. And like I said before, it depends on how much you like your heat. A quarter to a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. So we're going to sprinkle that all over. Ooh baby. This is going to be good. I appreciate that, Mike. Hey, and if anybody else has recipes that you've been, you know, proven that you love, and you want to put them on uh, Moonshine Wednesdays, I'll be glad to send me an email to um, <coughs> stillworksandbrewing at gmail.com. Okay. All right, so what do we do now? Okay, so we got all our spices on there. So what do we do now? So now what we want to do is we want to take these in, put them in the, in the oven at 300 degrees for 20 minutes, and then we got to let them cool down, okay? So 300 degrees for 20 minutes. I'll be back in, uh, and we'll move on to the next step. We're just about done. 
the preliminary. Okay. Okay. So you see there, we got all our toasted pecans. I taste them. They're pretty good right now. Hmm. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I got my half gallon mason jar here. I need to put in the pecans. This is going to be good. And I want all them spices that's on the tray too. Alright, so our next step, take some of your good homemade bourbon and we're going to put it in there. Put the whole bottle in. Alright, but like I said, don't make sure you save that bottle because it will. The smell is fantastic. Alright, so what we want to do, we want to let that infuse for about a week. Mike says about a week. And come by and shake it every day. We want to get all them flavors out of them pecans and them spices. And I can see where this is going to be fantastic. Okay, so we'll see you in about a week. And we'll finish this up, you know. And, but what I am... I'm going to put it out there right now, is in pecans, uh, once I drain, strain these out and put them back in the bottle, I will not get rid of these pecans, because what's great to do with them, you put them out on a cookie tray, and I think you sprinkle a little bit of brown sugar, maybe a little salt, and you bake them in the oven, they get a little candied, oh, they're fantastic, <coughs> excuse me, them spices got to me, okay, Excuse me. We'll see you in a little while. We'll see you in a bit about a week. Back, it's been about a week. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? Alright, so what our very first thing we need to do is we need to strain out those. Excuse my voice. Strain out those pecans. So we'll strain those out. I'm just using a, a water, you know, magic strainer. Oh, but like I said, don't throw those pecans away. They got something special for them. Okay. So here's the bottle it came out of, and what I'm going to use is, like I've come a million times before, it is a doubled up coffee filters and a funnel, because there is a lot of fines that's in that bourbon, and we just want to kind of, I got to taste one. Mm. Alright, let me set this over here so I don't make a mess. Alright. So all I need to do... I ain't sure how long this is going to take. So basically all we want to do is we want to strain them fines out of that, out of the bourbon. And then uh, we should be full flavor. Okay, let me get this done. And then uh, I'll let it do its thing. And I'll be back in a little bit. I could not get, I could not get that to run through two coffee filters. 
So then I tried one cough, but I couldn't do that. So what I ended up doing is putting it through a doubled up uh, cheesecloth that I could get it to go through. It's not as clear as I would like, but I bet it tastes good. Let's see what it tastes like. It smells like pecans. A good good nose on it. Wow. The first thing I taste is I'm gonna say the creaminess creaminess of them um, pecans. And and then right after that goes away that that cayenne pepper hits you. Oh that is delicious. Mike, you got a winner here. Oh. Woo. That is good. I mean, I, I'm believing it's coming in that state. It should stay right around 80 proof. Whoa. That's good. <laughs> All right. That is our... Spicy toasted pecan bourbon. It's very good. Uh, nice and creamy and it's got good heat. Now I went, I think the directions that Mike gave me was between a quarter and a half of the uh, cayenne pepper. If you don't like, if you like, if you like hot stuff or depend on your taste, about a quarter, just a hair more than a quarter would be fine. But it is good. Oh, that is good. And I'll bet you on an ice cube, sit that over around the campfire. Boy, it makes my throat feel better. All right, very good. Okay, so there's one thing left I want to do, and I'll be back for that. Hey. Uh, remember the, the pecans after we took them out? What I ended up doing, and I've done this before, is you take in pecans, spread them over a cookie sheet. Alright? Normally, I would sprinkle them with brown sugar and a little bit of spices, right? And then you bake them. And you bake them in the oven for, for I think it was 400 degrees for right around 30 minutes. But with this spicy, I didn't. All I did was put brown sugar on them, and they come out like they're candied. You talk about a treat, and they still got some heat to them. That is delicious. That's almost as good as that. So, like I said, don't throw them pecans away, because they are... Delicious. Mm. So, like I said, bake them in the oven for about 30 minutes. Take the, take the cooking sheet out of the oven, let them cool off, and you're done. Okay. Well, that's enough me talking. I guess about the last thing I got to say is, Hey, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time here on Still Works in Brooklyn. Hey, and I forgot to say, happy moonshine Wednesday, dude.